Hi, and thanks so much for joining me for my skincare favorites of 2020. If you'd like to see that, please keep watching. I've had many questions about my skincare. I've done routines before in the past, but we're gonna do it again. There are slight changes, and I will emphasize the things that I do as part of the routine that might have adjustments in terms of the actual product that I'm using for that step, but highlight those things that are steps that are consistent. So the steps are consistent, but sometimes the products themselves may change. I've had also a lot of questions about hyperpigmentation, what I've done, because if you've been with me for a while, you've seen how much it's improved. And I really wish there was one product that I could pinpoint, but if there was, there would only be one product on the market. There are so many brightening products, there are so many discoloration products, and that's because one doesn't work for everyone. So I will share what works for me, but as I always say, first consult your dermatologist because they are the medical people who can prescribe things for your skin. They can take a look at it, kind of determine maybe what the issue is and prescribe something that will work for that issue. That dermatologist is going to be able to help you probably the most and then whatever that is, stick to that every day because I've done my skincare for years, <laughs> like, five years it's taken to get here. So don't be discouraged if you don't see results right away because it takes a long time. It takes dedication. Also SPF is critical because with all that progress, the sun can really make my skin um, back to the way it was really quickly. So I stay out of the sun. I wear hats. I use SPF. I have an umbrella that keeps the sun off of my face. That's how much I stay out of the sun. So uh, in addition to all of the skincare, I also prevent anything from impacting any of the progress. So for me, it was a lot of patience, diligence, and just continuing going, even if I didn't see results for weeks, for months. I just kept doing my routine. And many years later, here we are. I'm not having to color correct really as much as I was before. I'm not having to layer. It saved so much time in terms of concealing. I think I used to spend a half an hour at least just to conceal the darker areas. So for me, it was worth it to spend that kind of time on it. And you've actually seen me this year use foundation and powder without concealer. And I think many of you noticed that was the first time you've ever seen me do that. And that was the first time I've ever done that. I think on camera. With that said, we're gonna go into my morning routine and then I will meet you again after that and then we'll go ahead through the nighttime routine. They're very similar, but the evening routine is actually, I think, faster. So let's go ahead to the morning routine. I have just washed my face. I will go in with a couple of different things, actually. I've had a few different things this year. So I went in with the Omora Vitsa. This is a refining facial polisher. It says it refines texture and also brightens. So that's what I liked about this product. It is a very gentle exfoliant. I don't use that one every day though. I will use the Rice and Geranium Foaming Cleanser by Chantecaille for something more gentle. And then I have been using this, but I took a little break. The Anti-Aging Cleansing Gel by Peter Thomas Roth. That's a really nice one in terms of a chemical exfoliant. Now, depending on the cleanser I use, I'll tone differently as well. So if I use the Peter Thomas Roth, I will go in then with something like the Tony Comfort by Lancome because it kind of rebalances and rehydrates my skin as I tone it. So that one's really nice in combination with the Peter Thomas Roth. Now when I go in with something more gentle, I've actually been trying out a couple of different toners. So I just finished this up, the Pericone MD Intensive Pore Minimizing Toner. So I've been kind of trying that out to see if it minimizes pores. I don't know really if I noticed that much of a difference, but I did use it up. We'll see when I stop using it if I notice the difference. That is when I usually notice when the condition of my skin kind of um, declines after I stop using a product. That is the true test for me. So now I've got this other toner. It's a brightening toner by Good Molecules. This is a niacinamide brightening toner and you can use a cotton pad or you can just use your hands. Um, I am using a cotton pad. I still need to get the sustainable ones that you can wash, but I have so many of the Shiseido ones, I need to use them up first. So I just run this over my face. I do have on eyebrows though. I just feel like 
my face looks so different without eyebrows on. So I do change up my skincare every once in a while. So I do like to try new things, but I don't like changing the steps, if that makes sense. I do like to hydrate my eye area quite quickly. I'm going in with the Nano Gold Energizing Eye Serum. So I just roll it under my eyes. I don't know how many times, like seven times? Three, four, five, six, seven. I don't really pay that much attention, but I kind of let that soak in for a moment. And then I go in with the Stress Repair Concentrate by Shantkai, and I just take the little spit. I was watching, I think it was Angela Rogers talk about this, and she said, you just need the tiniest bit. So I think I was using too much. Um, because this is supposed to last quite a while. So then I'll just gently sweep that underneath my eye area. And I'm taking a break from some of the more um, heavy duty kinds of products, like even a retinol right now, I'm taking a break. Another reason I wanna take a break from the heavy duty skincare, I do wanna start using this Chantecaille Gold Recovery Intense. I feel like if I back off some of the more um, heavy duty skincare right now, that might be a better experience. I'm not sure, haven't used it before, so I will let you know. Then I'm going in with a discoloration correcting serum. This is by Good Molecules, and this is maybe my second or third one. So I'll just take this and I will apply it to my darker spots. So I already know where they are. <laughs> They're right here in the front, right on my upper lip. I will add some to my chin. I let it kind of soak in. I work it into the skin. Okay, the next step is a brightening essence. I have used the Clay de Peau for quite some time. I've had really nice success with this. That's one of the things that I noticed when I stopped using a brightening serum, that there was a big difference in my skin. So I did wanna try this one by Chantecaille. It's the Blancardina Brightening Essence. I did test Chantecaille side by side with this and the results were comparable. So I will be using this all up and then we'll see what I replace it with. So I just pat it in. I don't rub it too much into this area. I don't want to disturb that other serum I just put on. And then I just kind of work it into the rest of my skin, but I will put it all over my face. And this one's really nice and hydrating too. I really like this one. Just the feel of it is really nice. When that's dry to the touch, I go in with another brightening serum, CE Ferulic. And I know this has a really wonderful reputation. A lot of people have used this for a long time. It does brighten the skin's complexion as well. So I haven't tried this without the Chantecaille or the Clay de Peau before. So I do need to kind of test this out to see. I like the results that SkinCeuticals promotes because they're very realistic. I feel like sometimes when the claims are so, <laughs> I don't know, overwhelming, I, I kind of look at them with a bit of skepticism. So I, I appreciate that SkinCeuticals has a very realistic kind of expectation for the success of their products. This one improves the signs of aging and photo damage, like the appearance of lines and wrinkles and the loss of firmness while brightening skin's complexion. So I can see why all of those things are things that I would like and I can see why so many people love this one. It feels really nice on the skin as well. There's a bit of hydration. Next, if I need a little bit of extra hydration, I'll go in with something like the Hydrating B5 Gel by SkinCeuticals. So this one is really nice and hydrating, especially for the winter months. I really like this one. It contains hyaluronic acid, the body's natural hydrator to bind moisture to the skin. It helps maximize the benefits of your daily moisturizer. And it says it's for all skin types. I really like this though, to just add that little bit more of hydration again in the winter. It's not an oily kind of substance, but it's very like, there's a slip to it. I can't describe it. It's different than most of the other skincare products I have. Very viscous though. Next I'll go in with the Chantecaille Blue Light Protection Hyaluronic Serum. Again, hydration and it says, visible plumping power while shielding the skin from blue light pollution. Now I don't know about the blue light pollution, but I do know that my skin has been looking really nice. So this has been one of the things I've been using consistently. Really nice. I do put a lot of skincare on, one, because I am provided with skincare sometimes. Many of these things I purchase myself, but I am provided, so I do want to test out things that I think will work into the routine. So then I'll go in with this BioLifting Oil-Free Fluid. Now I feel like I wanna try the other one that's not oil-free. It says, designed for skin with oily tendencies and for all skin types in hot and humid climates. I think that's great, but in the winter, I would just like to try the other one. But this does work really well if you have more oily skin. And I'm looking at the clock, I'll of course edit out, but it's already been 16 minutes. <laughs> and that's probably how long this takes me 
in the morning to do my skincare. I think I do this without noticing <laughs> that I just tap my face like this just to make sure everything is in there. Then we're gonna go in with something heavier duty for the like the last step. So especially if it were summer, I probably would stop here, but because it's winter and my skin gets more dry, even though it's oily underneath, um, I will go in with something a little bit heavier duty. This is the Triple Lipid Restore 242 by SkinCeuticals. And you can see, I really do love it because it's almost empty and this is something I would repurchase. Um, it's so luxurious. So it's kind of reminds me of like a Charlotte Tilbury magic cream. I just don't really like the feeling of things on my neck, but I do need to bring the skincare further down. Another one I've been testing out is the Amorvitsa because I got a little trial of it, the Gold Rescue Cream. This is really nice too for that uh, kind of more emollient texture. And both of these work really well with makeup as well on top. Every day, every day, every day. <laughs> sunscreen. So the Chantecaille Ultra Sun Protection Sunscreen SPF 45. So I just put on this much and work that into the skin. It's been about 20 minutes now of skincare. Yeah, that's about right. So after I apply my makeup, I will get to the end of the day and then I will show you my evening routine, which is a much shorter, I think, than this. It might be half the steps, I think. <laughs> and then I will show you what I've been using for the evening. As you can see, the morning routine is quite involved. There are many steps. I think I talked about how much time it was, like 20 minutes or so. But it's, again, worth it to me to invest that time. But for me, my steps are in the morning. Cleanse, tone, something that's going to help brighten, something that's going to help balance my skin out then going in with a discoloration correction serum on very targeted areas, then a brightening serum. I did use two, I probably just need the one, but some kind of brightening serum, some kind of great moisturizer, whether it's lifting, whatever it may be, but something to kind of seal everything in, and then SPF. So in terms of adjusting or alternating products, I alternate within those steps, if that makes sense. Let me know if you have questions because I'd be happy to answer them because I know I have a lot going on. I know it's excessive. And so what I'll do after using these is as they run out, if I have multiples in one category, like the brightening serum, I have two going right now. Once one of them runs out, I will continue with just one, whatever's left, and see if I continue with the results. And that will tell me that I just need that one. So that's kind of how I narrow it down. But as for the evening, let's go ahead to that. We're going to take off this makeup and then I'll talk you through that as well. Okay, it's been a few more hours. So we're going to go through the nighttime routine. We're going to start with the Chantecaille Rose de May Cleansing Balm. And this was new this year. And this is unlike any other cleansing balm I've used. It feels very much like a moisturizer. So this is my second one that I'm on. There's a bit of iridescence on it. It's a really beautiful product. The thing that makes this different than most of the cleansing balms I've used is that you wanna make sure that you've got some kind of moisture on your face first. So I'm going to take this Rose de May rose water. Now, <laughs> it's a very fancy way to get my face um, hydrated here before I go in with that. But in real life, what I'll usually do is I will go in the shower and just get my face kind of damp and then reach for some of the cleansing balm and work that in. But today we'll do this. By the way, this is a beautiful rose water. What makes this rose water really special is they only harvest the roses two weeks in May. Very beautiful rose water. And I've added a little bit of, this is really nice too, the uh, Rose de May face oil. So I've added a few drops in here to add a little bit more hydration. I did learn that from a makeup artist, but what that does is instead of just adding water, it adds a little bit more moisture. So I've added maybe, I don't know, seven or so drops in here. So you can kind of just play with it and see how much you want, starting with less oil, of course, um, but I'm gonna spray that on first. So you really wanna get your face nice and damp for this to work really well. Or you could go in with something like this. I have a dampened washcloth. So I can just dampen my face. This is not ideal <laughs> without a sink, but just for demonstration purposes. Okay, the scary part's going to be when I start removing my eye makeup because I have a lot of mascara on, but this does a great job of that. So I just take some like this and then work it into the skin. 
I really do take time to massage that in and get all of that mascara kind of broken down before I go in. This look was from the Charlotte Tilbury Star Aura palette demo. If you saw that, you know how much makeup I have on my face. I have a lot. And as much as I like applying makeup, I, my favorite part is removing makeup at the end of the day. Just to double cleanse, I like to go, double cleanse, double cleanse. So I'm going to go in with the Rice and Geranium Foaming Cleanser. I'm gonna do that at the sink. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna go in again with the toner, the same one that I used in the morning. My skin type is combo. So drier on the outside, but not super dry. It's actually dry to normal. And then the interior, interior of my face is more oily, especially during the summer. In the winter, it's kind of mixed. Sometimes it's dry, sometimes it's more oily. But if it's dry, it's like dry on the surface. Before my skin dries too much, I go in with a Shantikai Nano Gold Energizing Eye Serum again, right under here. If you get this and it's new, well, of course it's gonna be new. If you get this and when it's new, you feel this plastic part around here that uh, in cases the roller ball. I noticed I was feeling it against my skin at first, but I don't know what needed to happen if some of the serum needed to kind of go around that so I didn't feel it, but I don't feel it anymore. So just continue using it lightly until that feeling goes away and it starts um, feeling much more of a glide going on. Then I'm gonna go in again with the Stress Repair Concentrate. Maybe two or three times a week, I'll go in with the Bobbi Brown Extra Eye Repair Cream and also add that on top, just as another really, really emollient layer underneath the eye. So that'll sit there for a while and I let it kind of soak in. It's a really, really nice eye cream. Then we're gonna go in with the same discoloration correcting serum on the same exact spots as I had earlier. Right here on the sides, upper lip, forehead, chin. I try not to layer when I can still feel the product moving around. I wanna make sure it really gets in there. Also my age, if you're new here, I am 48 now, I'll be 49 in 2021. So that's another reason I take really good care of my skin. I feel like it's in pretty good condition right now and I just wanna keep it there. Next we're gonna go in with the Brightening Essence by Chantecai. Sometimes I will go in with the Radiance Elixir at this point. So I did ask Janelle who works for Chantecai about this when to use it because it was new to me and I'd been mixing it with makeup but she said you can use it in the morning and evening as well. It says it has glow boosting intelligent botanicals that leave the skin visibly radiant. As lipopeptides to reduce visible redness and plumps up the look of fine lines, leaving skin looking smooth, fresh, and radiant. Then I'll go in with something like the HA Intensifier. This helps amplify skin's hyaluronic acid levels. This is actually good for day and evening, but I like to put it on at night. Yeah, I could also go into with the Hydrating B5 Gel. High concentration of pure hyaluronic acid, renews skin's plumpness, elasticity, firmness. So it says to use this twice daily but I use it at night. I feel like I have a lot going on during the day, so I do use it at night. Then after that, if I feel like a little extra hydration would be nice, I'll go in with the Rose de May Oil by Chantecai. Then I will go in with a heavier duty face cream. The AGE Interrupter by SkinCeuticals is nice. Anti-aging skin treatment to improve the appearance of wrinkles and firmness impacted by advanced glycation and products. It says specifically formulated to improve the appearance of wrinkles, firmness, and elasticity impacted by natural aging process such as glycation. So it says to apply to next. See, I forgot my neck again. I have to remember, like that's again my thing for 2021, <laughs> make sure I bring skincare all the way down my neck. That's pretty much it for my nighttime routine. Again, double cleansing, toning, then the discoloration correction serum, a brightening serum, and then for some extra hydration, depending on my skin is feeling that day, some HA intensifier by SkinCeuticals, or the oil, or in this case, and the oil from Chantecai, the Rose de May and then sealing that all in with a really nice emollient moisturizer. And that is it for the evening routine. Again, please see a dermatologist if you have something like I had, which is severe, and you're not sure what direction to go in because they can point you in the right direction. 
And then what works for me, again, may not work for you. So just make sure that you try these things out, that you look at the ingredients. For instance, I know my sister has a very sensitive skin. So what is okay for me will get a reaction from her skin. My skin is pretty hardy at this point, so it can take a lot. So make sure, again, that you're very careful about selecting the products, especially that are a little bit more heavy duty. But I did wanna share what works for me. It is anecdotal. There's nothing scientific about this. There's no double blind study or anything like that. But this is just anecdotally what's worked for me. So I did want to share that with you because I get so many questions. But that is it for today's video. So please take care of each other, stay well. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.